With Bitcoin and ETH going sideways, some altcoins and NFTs are starting to pump. One of the NFTs in particular was Captain's NFT. This thing minted for about one ETH. And this thing literally did a 7x within days of being listed on OpenSea. And then you have other altcoins like Bonk that did a 100x in a matter of days. And you might be thinking to yourself like, snap, I missed it. Now what? Well, here are two potential short-term narratives that could start trending in crypto. The very first one is going to ride on the coattails of NFTs pumping. As you guys can see here on Captains, it literally made a 7X. And this is not the only one. There's several other NFTs that are going nuts and ham and making multiple Xs. If you take a look at Lil Pudgies, these things already did a 4X. And taking a look at the regular Pudgy Penguins, these things already did a 4X. And if you look at the data on NFTs, you can see it's starting to trend up and to the right. But if you're like me, you might not be a pro at NFTs. Here are a couple of different protocols you guys can look at that are actually the picks and the shovels to the NFT game. The first one is looks rare. I'm not extremely bullish on this one. This has over a $90 million circulating market cap. In my opinion, it's extremely overvalued but it does have that meme potential. I'm actually looking at a couple of other altcoins I'll share with you guys later in this video, and they are a lower market cap, but again, they are lower market cap, so they're extremely risky, and they're probably gonna go to zero. So as a disclaimer, this is not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, and these are just short-term narratives I'm looking at that could potentially be a trait. So the difference between looks rare and something like OpenSea is that looks rare only charges a 2% marketplace fee, which is only half a percent less. And what they do to incentivize people to trade on their exchange is that on looks rare, as you can see here, they would pay people to list certain NFTs. So if I would list this board ape kennel club, I would get paid 100 looks token in order to list this token. It may not sound like a lot, but basically I'm getting paid $16 to list for the looks token. Now this looks coin that I get, I can go ahead and sell this or I can go ahead and stake it to earn both looks and ETH. Something to keep in mind with this is that as there's more tokens being emitted, that's additional inflation, which opens the opportunity for additional sell pressure as people who are listing these tokens just to farm the looks token and dump them. Now another protocol that has a lower market cap than looks is X2Y2. This is about a $8 million circulating market cap. I'll show you guys the data and things to look out for for additional token unlocks so you guys can be careful with these tokens. But as you can see here, X2Y2 has a similar model to where they pay you for staking your X2Y2 token. You would earn a 36% yield in ETH as well as X2Y2 inflationary rewards. The difference between X2Y2 and looks rare is that it's a 0.5% trading fee. With NFTs and all DEXs and all trading in the DeFi space, it is a race to zero. So being that it has a lower fee, this incentivizes other traders to list their NFTs with X2Y2, which brings revenue back to the X2Y2 token, which increases the staking rewards. When these rewards are increased, this means, oh yeah, I want to get X2Y2 and stake the token. As you can see here, as NFTs are starting to pick up a bit, you can start to see the price action start to lift up a bit as well, with trading volumes increasing. Let me go ahead and show you guys a comparison with the trading volume so you guys can make your own decision. As you can see here, this is looks rare. Looks rare has about an $86 million circulating market cap. But if you look at the trading volume, it's around 40 to 80K for the past two months. Now take a look at X2Y2. X2Y2 does not have a trading volume of 20 to 40K, but it does have an average of around 20K and the circulating market cap is only 6.7 million. And that's about a 10X difference in circulating market caps. It also offers a higher staking reward. Looks Rare offers 21% with 12% paid in the ETH token. X2Y2 offers a 36, well, actually 31%, and it pays 21% in the ETH token. And also keep in mind with these charts, this is the trading fees. So Looks charges a 2%, where X2Y2 only charges half a percent. So theoretically, this should be around 80K if you compare it to looks rare. So there is a lot more trading volume 
on X2Y2 compared to looks. Now again, in my opinion, these are short-term trades. Now let me explain why. There's a protocol called PseudoSwap. PseudoSwap allows you to create an LP pair with an NFT and some Ethereum. When you create this LP pair, it's similar to Uniswap. You select the token that you're wanting to deposit as well as the NFT, and then you go to the next step and it allows you to deposit these NFTs as well as ETH into the pool. The difference between PseudoSwap and something like X2Y2 and LooksRare has to do with the royalties. As you can see here, if we go to the Sappy Seals collection, there is a 4.5% creator fee. With PseudoSwap, you can actually bypass this because these tokens are paired in an LP pool. The only fees that you would have to pay as a trader is whatever that pool allocates. So if I say I want a 2% fee on all trades, that means it's 2%. Whereas normally, if I trade on OpenSea, I'm going to have to pay this 4.5% as well as OpenSea's 2.5%. Now, what does this look like? Well, let's click on any NFT and show you what this looks like. If you go under any of the trading histories that happen, you can go to this sale. And if you look here, you can see the breakdown in this example. You can see here it has 0.43 ETH. This would be going to the guy who is selling it. And then you have 0.02 ETH, which goes to the creator. And then the 0 0.0116, which is going to OpenSea. Whereas PseudoSwap will basically get rid of these two fees and you will only have the trading fee. So if it's 2%, that's the fee that you're going to pay. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, PseudoSwap does not have a token. However, the same developers behind Xmon are some of the same team members that have helped to create PseudoSwap. So there is some speculation to get exposure to PseudoSwap you can pick up the Xmon token. This is not financial advice. I'm not telling anyone to buy Xmon. This is just what some other people are doing. Me personally, I see the main benefit of providing liquidity on PseudoSwap and earning some of the fees. So one other thing to note with both X2Y2 as well as LooksRare. You can see here there is a token unlock coming for LooksRare on March 24th and there is a token unlock coming on February 4th for X2Y2. So be careful and understand that there are some tokens getting ready to dump on the market. So this is just a short-term narrative that I do see with NFTs and platforms like X2Y2 looks rare, possibly getting some traction. But me personally, long-term, I don't think they're sustainable because it is going to be a race to zero but it could be a potential short-term trade as they're getting traction as people are going crazy over NFTs again. Now, in the long term, I do believe that DeFi and NFTs will be more interconnected. Just imagine having a house with a deed that's on-chain, lending it out onto a protocol like Aave, and getting a loan in seconds. We're not talking going through a bank, making sure the house does this, make sure it does that. No, you literally say, here's my NFT, this is my collateral, I'm gonna borrow a loan. Thanks, bye, three seconds, done. I can do it on a Sunday night, Saturday night, no banks are open, whatever. That's the type of value you're seeing with DeFi and NFTs. Now, the second short-term narrative is potentially with AI coins. Now, this one, me personally, I'm really not that bullish on it, but it is a short-term trade with the craze of chat GBT. And just like in the dot-com bubble, any company that had the dot-com on their name were automatically trading at a premium. And in my opinion, it's going to be the same thing for a lot of these AI tokens. Let me go ahead and give you a couple of examples. The first one is Numerai. Numerai is basically a decentralized hedge fund. And how this works is people staking their NMR tokens provide data. So these can be different scientists who are specialists in the field, but don't have the capital to trade with it. Whereas the other people, they may have the capital, but they don't have the data like the scientists do. So the scientists, they provide encrypted data to the platform. The platform basically spits out some numbers and says, hey, look, this is what's going to be trending this month or next month, etc." And the people are able to make their trades based on it. And the scientists put up the stake of the NMR token, basically putting their money where their mouth is. Again, it's an AI token. If you want to learn more about this in detail, I made a video about a year ago on this. Nothing's really changed on it. You guys can go ahead and check it out. It's on the channel. Another one is Fetch AI. I'm not super bullish on this one, but Fetch AI is one of the popular tokens that a lot of people look at and it's got AI in the name. 
basically all it's used for is the exchange token. So it's basically the utility token that's used within the ecosystem. It basically allows people to deploy AI services at scale. That's it. And if you guys want to learn more about it, you guys can go into the details on it. Another one is ORI chain. Now, ORI chain is basically a AI chain where you use OR AI tokens in order to transact on the platform. It's basically an AI layer one. Now, again, guys, crypto runs with narratives and I'm not uber bullish on these long term at all. I just see these as a short term trade. In fact, by the time this video goes out, they're probably going to giga nuke, especially with people who got in around 90 cents. They're going to want to dump and take some profits. Again, this is a short term trade. And by the time you're watching this video, the prices will probably be much different. If you guys are already in the discord, I do share this information with you as soon as it comes across. So if you mainly want to stay up to date and see what I'm doing in the markets, links in the description below for the discord. But let's get back to the video. A smaller market cap coin, if you're wanting to go on the AI craze, is Effect Network. Now, I'm not super bullish on this one as well, but it has a circulating $2 million market cap. And basically you can look at it kind of like Fiverr, but people are paid in the effects AI token for completion of different tasks. So it's just basically like a task platform. So if AI does get a wave, I do believe a rising tide will lift all boats. Now, again, I want to remind you, these AI tokens that I mentioned are extremely risky and they are lower market cap. Numerai is the highest market cap of the few, but again, this is going on a short-term narrative on AI. This is a potential trend that could be popular in crypto for the first quarter of 2023. Obviously, time will tell. We'll see what happens. Don't overinvest. Be careful. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. And in my opinion, they are not long-term plays. Now, before we end this video, I want to say thanks to the sponsors over at OKX. OKX is planning to distribute Flare Network's FLR airdrop. There are actually a couple of ways you can get some free FLR tokens. First is by joining all these socials. All the links are down here so you guys can click, view, and join each and every one of them. This gives you a chance to win a share of $3,000. And also for every $50 in FLR deposit, you can receive $10 in FLR bonus up to $20. And the top 30 FLR depositors will share $2,000. So there are a couple campaigns you guys can participate in. Make sure you follow all the terms and conditions so you guys qualify. Those will be on the OKX main page when FLR drops on January 10th. We're going to hit you guys with Proverbs chapter 10 verses 3. The Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, but he thwarts the craving of the wicked. Be good, be righteous. Peace.